Barbenheimer is more than just a meme. It's a full-fledged box office phenomenon. Over the weekend, moviegoers turned out in force for Greta Gerwig's neon-coated fantasy comedy Barbie, which smashed expectations with 155 million to land the biggest debut of the year. But they also showed up to see Christopher Nolan's R-rated historical drama Oppenheimer, which collected a remarkable 80.5 million in its opening weekend. Hundreds of thousands of ticket buyers refused to choose just one movie between the seemingly different blockbusters with twin release dates. So they opted to attend same-day viewings of Barbie and Oppenheimer, turning the box office battle into a double feature for the ages. This is an unequivocally great weekend for moviegoing, says David A. Gross, who runs the movie consulting firm Franchise Entertainment Research. Barbie and Oppenheimer are complementing each other at the box office, not taking audience from each other. The cultural craze known as Barbenheimer worked to fuel the biggest collective box office weekend of the pandemic era, as well as the fourth biggest overall weekend in history. It's worth noting the top three weekends were led by the debuts of sequels in massive franchises, Avengers, Endgame, Avengers, Infinity War and Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Studios gave audiences to uniquely different, smart and original stories that were meant for the big screen, says Michael O'Leary, president and CEO of the National Association of Theatre Owners, the industry's trade organization. People recognized that something special was happening and they wanted to be a part of it.